Now, it is a fact that politics is simply the reflex of economics. The material foundation of society determines the character of all social institutions, political, educational, ethical, and spiritual. In exact proportion as the economic foundation of society changes, the character of all social institutions changes to correspond to that basis. Half of this country was in favor of chattel slavery and half was opposed to it, geographically speaking. Why was the Church of the South in favor of chattel slavery? Why was the Church of the North opposed to chattel slavery? The Northern capitalist wasn't a bit more opposed to chattel slavery from any moral sense than was the Southern plantation owner. The South produced cotton for the market by the hand labor of Negro slaves. On the other hand, the North was not dependent upon cotton, could raise no cotton. In the North, it was the small capitalist at the beginning of capitalism who had begun to manufacture with the machine and who wanted cheap labor. And the sharper the competition, the cheaper he could buy his labor. To the southern plantation owner, chattel slavery was the source of his wealth. He had to have slaves, and what the plantation owner had to have in economics, the preacher had to justify in religion. As long as chattel slavery was necessary to the southern plantation owner, as long as that stage of the economic condition lasted, the preacher stood up in the pulpits of the South and said it was ordained of God and proved it by the Bible. I don't know of any crime that the oppressors and their hirelings have not proven by the Bible. Thank you so much for listening. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and comment below.